everyone. So today I am making a holiday winter soap. This is going to be moonlit pomegranate. <laughs> I had some kale and clay in there. Make sure it was all mixed in right. Now I'm going to add in the lye solution. coconut milk. I'm going to use organic coconut milk. oil. It smells so good. I've had it for quite some time and I thought well that wasn't anything special until I poured it out in this quantity and then I was like whoa hello that's nice. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty yellow which is interesting because they say it really doesn't discolor much so we'll see. Use some royal type colors today for this batch. My base color is going to be pink, and then I'm going to add purple and gold. will be interesting to see if it goes too dark. Hopefully not. It is a very delightful fragrance. So in this one I'm going to do the base pink color. I'm going to see how it goes. I may add a bit of a red to it. Amazing and fruity. It's like we need that to be quite a bit darker. I'm going to have to make some of that for the next batch. Air bubbles. Still hear them down in there. I think that will probably be good. Alright, put that aside. Looks like I need to stir that up just a bit more. 
do a little bit better job there. And this in with the beautiful purple. Not really having much trouble coloring the soap despite it being a little bit on the yellowy side. So that's always a good sign. definitely has a tendency to be gray if you don't use enough. I guess leave that in there. And into this one then we'll do the gold. It's a little bit shimmery, which I like. I love shimmer gold, Mike is. I don't want that to fade out a bunch, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. I have mixed up here. Sometimes gold can fade out to more of a just a yellow or a cream and we don't want that. Looks like the texture is just about perfect for this scenario. Looks like a lot of that is on the outside. Delightful. Put it in a little pink. And then the purple. Some gold, it's thickening up a bit here now. Just a little bit of pink here in the middle. Just a little bit for the top. Let's have some warm, spicy notes. So I'm not surprised that it's thickening up just a bit. 
It's not a lot of spice. Alright, so I need to smack this down. I'm going to bring in my handy dandy but quite wacky tool here. And it's pretty thick. So I'm going to be able to mix it up pretty well without having it be too much of a problem. So, let's get the pink back on the top. You can see it's getting quite thick now. But it will be fine. gonna add in the rest of this soap to the top so that I can give it a bit of a spoon texture. gonna use my spoon and just spread it around a little bit just to give it some variation of color. I just love that shimmer gold. It's so pretty. Got a little extra so bright in that spot. I don't want to mix it up too much. So those bars will just be a little bit taller than some of the others, is all. I'm going to poof on some gold bio glitter. This one's missing its little spray arm. Broke off on me. I think it looks very rich. all the gold and all the purple and the pink. Alright, so there we have it. I have moonlit pomegranate soap and I will be back for the cut. Alright, so I'm back to cut moonlit pomegranate soap. I thought all the lines were so fun. We'll move the hanger tool through. Now the lack of the top. end piece off there. So I've already cut a couple of loaves and every time I see this soap I'm like well hello 
how are you? <laughs> I love how it turned out. So swirly and whirly. These ones are a little bit uh, not quite as consistent as some of my other ones I did. I like it. The edges, these are the edge loaves. The inside loaves are always just a little bit different. But this one looks like we got a little bit more pink going on. We'll have to see what the other one looks like. So fun. So this one is a new one to the lineup this year. Last year I got asked to make a pomegranate soap and then I did try a pomegranate and I sent it out as my samples. I did get good reviews on it but it was discolored and I just ate me. Wasn't sure I was going to use that one again. So I decided to try a, I guess it's like moonlight pomegranate type. And so that's what this is. I'm calling moonlit. I have cut, oh geez, how many have I cut already today? I have cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is my eighth soap cutting of the day. And I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> My eight soap cutting of the day. I wonder where I was headed with that. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I keep stacking them so close as I get my, as the loaf gets smaller, I keep stacking them right here. And then I keep having to move them back to make room for the second loaf to cut. And I'm on my eighth soap and I still... I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Whew, that's got a lot going on there. I love gold. I love gold so much. It's so pretty with all the swirly whirlies. I still have at this point in the game today, I need to cut one, two, three, four, five, six batches of soap. So, holy moly. I don't know that all videos get to go up this year because I don't have enough time to get that all accomplished. But I probably will continue to put them up after my release because they're still fun to watch. Us soap makers, we start so early that we've moved on. Like, I'm actually, even though I'm just now cutting these soaps after about a little time has passed, most of the soaps are cut already, but I'm cutting these on video for you. The fact of the matter is, I've already started on my December. Uh, release which is going to be more of my classic soaps so even though I'm still preparing for my holiday release I'll have to do a lot of the wax melts and stuff my mind is already we're already passed and by December most people are working on uh, Valentine's stuff so anyway there you have it we're just always we're always a season ahead of everybody else so here we have the moonlit pomegranate soap of course this is just one of the most gorgeous bars, but some do look like this as well. And I will talk to you guys later.